Well, first, the bad news. We live in a toxic food culture. We all know this. And uh, right now, chronic disease is taking the lives, it's causing seven out of every 10 deaths in the United States. We're talking about heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes. These are conditions that are not something where you go to a doctor and you get healed. They're a condition that most people are living with until the end of their lives. And uh, right now, chronic disease is bankrupting us. The United States is spending $3.5 trillion this year on what we call medical care. But really, we all know it's disease symptom management. And of that $3.5 trillion, nine out of 10 patients in that system that are uh, nine out of ten dollars are going to treat people who have at least one major chronic lifestyle caused illness. So the costs of our medical system are overwhelming and we can argue and political candidates can argue all they want about who should pay for what, but we're not going to be able to afford any of it unless we make some fundamental changes to why we are spending so much on managing the symptoms of disease and it all comes back to diet and lifestyle. Two percent of the children in the United States in high school get enough vegetables. Nine percent get enough fruits. Um, and the average doctor in all of their years of medical training gets less than 19 hours of education that has anything to do with diet. And of that, they're mostly learning about specific reductionalist disease patterns tied to specific nutrient deficiencies, not about how to help patients eat well. But I think this is all good news. Because as bad as things are, that's how much better they can be with the change. And can you imagine how much health we could liberate? How much vitality we could liberate? How many more people could be so much happier and more joyous if they knew what we're learning here? If they were able to eat right and live right and apply the principles of healthy eating in their lives? Can you imagine how much money we could save? Can you imagine how many resources we could save? The, the toxic food culture is something that is sickening not just to the consumer, but also to the provider. Farm workers do not like spraying toxic pesticides in the fields. Factory farm operators do not like slitting the throats of animals. They do not like cutting the beaks off of chickens so they won't pick each other to death while they're driven insane in horrendous conditions. They don't like pumping livestock full of antibiotics just to keep them alive under terrible conditions. I've talked to executives from Coca-Cola and Nestle and they don't stay up all night trying to figure out how to poison our kids. They're trying to get by. They're trying to make it in a system that they feel is constantly pulling them towards a profit motive. So we've got to change that system. And it all starts with the dollars we spend and the, every dollar we spend, every bite we take is a vote. So let's make that vote a conscious one, a deliberate one. Let's vote for the health we want and let's vote for the world we want.